I'm on a rant today. What does it mean to be satisfied with your life? Satisfaction is not always the fulfillment of what you want. It is the realization of how blessed you are for what you have. It is hard to be satisfied with life if you're never satisfied with yourself. Happiness is when you think what you say and what you do are in harmony. I got this off Google. My name is Eric. Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. Back in the day, my past have crossed a lot of drug addicts, alcoholics, con artists, and career criminals, and they all had the same thing in common. Happiness is when what they thought and what they say and what they did was in harmony. In my opinion, their, their, their ambition in life is to survive by all means possible, except by society rules. How that expression goes, you know that expression, beg, borrow, and steal to pay my bills, because that's the society rule. You work hard, you, you know, work hard, pay your bills. If you can't, you do the best you can pay your bills. But happiness for them is to find someone, male or female, to supply them with their needs. Pursuing this happiness is when what they think, what they say, and what they do are in harmony, a.k.a. sex, raw sex, with males or females. Whether they enjoy it or not. That's not the question. The question is, if having sex going to get them their needs or happiness, you know, like a roof over their heads, food in their stomach, and whatever altered reality drugs they can get. I find that these people have no ambition in life but being satisfied getting their needs met. This is what they think and say that all and, and, and say that will make them happy. And their spirit seems to be in harmony with it. I know, I know, I know. This is very dark to criticize people who are not intelligent enough to know that using other people to get their needs met is not the way of the world. In my teens, my first boyfriend told me that he refused to work as hard at his parents to get the house, the car, and the boat that he grew up with. He wanted his house, car, and boat now, while he's young enough to enjoy it. I was so naive, I never knew what he meant until he tricked his girlfriend to co-sign on his Cadillac and ask me to lend him the down payment for it and he'll pay me back. Fast forward two years. He never made payments on the Cadillac and he no longer had that girlfriend whose salary was being garnished and him and I weren't friends anymore and of course I never got my money back for that down payment that he put down on that on his Cadillac and other things that he needed. He died a month before his 50th birthday. I didn't hear about it until 16 years later. He got his happiness the way he thought he would, the way he said he would, and he was all right with it. At least he enjoyed it and didn't have to work his into his old age, like his parents. 
You just heard the craziness that lives inside my head.